Hail campers, and welcome to Camp Dragon Online presents From Daring to Dastanir. This actual play features our dungeon masters as hapless heroes adventuring through some of our old one-shots from the Camp Dragon Vault. We hope this gives you better insight into our dungeon masters' playstyles. So come with us on the adventurous path here at Camp Dragon. Tonight's session uses maps from Wizards of the Coast's Tactical Maps Reincarnated Asset Maps Pack, available now on Roll20.net. So, where we left off, you had approached the pile of rubble that made sort of like a fissure-like choke point at the bottom of the stairs. And for those of you near the front of the party, you can see um, a Hobgoblin leaning on, let's see, a, uh, leaning on their, like a long sword that is sort of poking into the ground, unsheathed, uh, but is facing away from you and the hallway that you are in. Doesn't appear to have noticed you. I'm going to hold up my hand kind of the similar to the way um, lives in shadow was just assume everyone knows what that means. And, and I'm assuming so they haven't turned towards us. So they obviously haven't noticed us yet. Not as of yet. Um, but I, if, if there's anything you want to do stealthily, I will need everyone to make stealth checks for themselves. So, yeah, cause I don't mind creeping up, but I'll take a stealth check. I'm also confident in my stealth check. So if there's anything else we want to do as a party, that's totally fine. I'm going to stay planted and not move. Um, because <laughs> I'm not good at stealth checks. Cool. Cause I, I, I to try and be sneaky, forward. but yeah, I'm not going guns blazing either. Oh God. 13. Fuck. All right. There we see a 30 from null 13 from lives in shadows. Uh, a 19 from Shashan, and a 9 from Leah. Oh, do you want me to roll stealth as well? Yeah, yeah go ahead and roll stealth for me, just in case. All right. <laughs> yeah, but about as bad as that. that. <laughs> uh, a, a 1, a combined 1 from a 2 with a minus 1 to stealth. Yes. All right. <laughs> with all of those... Um, Darmok, if you do pretty much anything, they'll probably notice you, but if you stay very still exactly where you are without making any noise or doing much of anything, they probably won't. I am just going to stand planted. All right. Null, as you invisibly walk up behind them, uh, you notice there are, in fact, two hobgoblins in armor standing there, both facing away, um, and as you get much closer, it appears that they are actually napping while standing up. Is going to come back over and whisper way too close to Darmac's ear, like creepily close, that they're both asleep. Ear holes. Ugh. <laughs> or just kind of shiver, runs down down his spine like, Ugh. Sure, absolutely. Uh, Null, do you tell the rest of the party as well? He'll let Darmac handle that one. Hey guys, looks like they're both asleep standing up. So Darmac, you are attempting to let everybody else know yeah, that they are asleep. Yeah. Okay. With the one that you rolled earlier. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> even your stage whisper is going to be a little too loud. <laughs> Just like me in real life. <laughs> and I, I am going to need. Uh, I'm going to need you all to roll initiative. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. Okay. Uh, everything is as it should. <laughs> This is pretty much it's how I whisper too though is like it's my actual just normal volume but like as if my like I'm trying to make it sound like a whisper and I just don't know how to be quiet it's it's great. I'm just too loud all the time. Like let's be honest. <laughs> all right. Uh no, you are first. Okay. Your self. It's uh well <laughs> Uh, and at this point, even though I was going first, it would be obvious that there is, uh, they're waking up, right? Yeah, no, they clearly heard something, and they're turning around. Okay, I'm assuming this rubble is impassable. Oh, no, you can tall. walk. You can walk through it. It's just you do. It does take up. Um, it is difficult, difficult terrain. Yeah, I mean, so there's, I'd rather just go around. Yeah. Uh, so we're gonna move 15 feet. Well, here. the whole the whole passageway is difficult terrain. Oh, the whole oh, passageway. Okay. okay. Yes. Um, then that's 10, 20. 25 uh, you know what we're gonna move 20 here and yeah let's move here um and oh what am i gonna do what would null do that's you know what i'm sorry i'm gonna take that back he is going to be null 
sure. and move here instead. And then he's going to go ahead and become visible as he casts this spell, Nathier's oh Mischief, which is you fill a 20-foot cube you can see within range uh, with Fey and Draconic Magic, or in Null's case, Crazy Chaos Magic. Roll on the Mischievous Surge table to determine a magical effect produced, and roll again, blah, 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 for crazy shenanigans to happen. So I'm just going to try and fill up your turn as well. this right here. I just love that you're directly out of my eyesight, so I'm not going to actually see you casting the chaos <laughs> magic. Yeah, exactly. Um, <laughs> you know, here, we're, we're going to do this so our allies don't get caught in it. So in the back, so starting at that guy. So the cube sure. is going to fill up the hallway and uh, just go for full craziness. Yeah, go ahead and give me that d4 for the mischievous surge effect. All right, mischievous surge. Wham! Two, all right, so... within two, bouquets of flowers appear all around, and each creature in the cube must succeed on a dexterity saving throw, or be blinded until the start of your next turn. Oh, that's amazing. As the flowers spray that's water great. into their faces. All right, dex saves. A pair of hobgoblins wearing heavy armor. Sure, here we go. <laughs> oh, uh, it. Their three and their eleven do not beat the spell save DC of eighteen. So they are currently blinded. Uh, that's Noel's action for his bonus action. He's going to cackle, and then that's going to be the end of my turn. Oh, good. Was <laughs> Joker-based fucking spell. <laughs> good morning. How, <laughs> how could I not take Nathir's mischief with Noel? Like, there's no <sighs> way. That's lovely. That's like Three Stooges, like, with the water yeah. sprayer. Yeah. <laughs> oh, they're blinded. Oh, All right. right. Lives in shadow. What would you like to do? Take their spines. Okay, where we go. Um... I just shout, take their spines to everyone as if for that's justice. <laughs> what we're doing for justice. I'm going to use feline agility. Um, my first use of it without using um, or without risking exhaustion. And I'm going to rush there just, just to get over the um, difficult terrain. And they're blinded correctly, right? Uh, they currently are, yes. Does the cube persist? Or just the effect? I... Oh, yeah. No, the cube is concentration up to one minute. Okay, um, so then I won't yeah. jump in the cube. Perfect. Alrighty. Um, for justice, yeah, I'll continue. Just full on going out, um, keeping the claws beneath the, the gauntlets. We're going to win for the justice jab again. Go for it. Uh, currently, they... that is a... Well, they are blinded. Um, yeah, go ahead. You get the 22. That will hit for two bludgeoning. Beautiful. And then setting up the Hero's hook again. Or a 13, 13 plus will two. miss. Or 15 yep. will miss. Miss. And then finishing. So that'd be bonus action, jab, action, I do a hook, and then I try to finish it off spending my third martial artist point for a crusading cross. Uh, oh with a God. critical Jesus. hit, uh, <laughs> that will absolutely hit. Uh, and your fist is going to go straight through that hobgoblin's face, killing them instantly. Oh my God. For justice, bro. <laughs> For justice. As the hobgoblin collapses to the ground, one of the floating uh, illusory flowers uh, squirts the dead hobgoblin in the face one last time. <laughs> I point this as being evidence of them being agents of chaos to all of the people in the hallway. I'm like, look, the walls, they sprout flowers to support them in their efforts. Uh, none of the people in the hall can see what you're talking about. Yes, I <laughs> self justification. What? That that'll be my turn. <laughs> All right, fantastic. Uh, Leah, what would you like to do? Uh, I will move down here, I guess, to get a better view. And oh, there I can see a hobgoblin now. Things seem to be going pretty well so far. So I'm just gonna do a mind sliver on it. All right, mind sliver. Okay. Intelligent saving throw. We've got a 17. Ah, so that is just going to fall under your saving throw, uh, or DC of 18. It's going to be six psychic damage to our poor little hobgoblin, who's already taking a little bit of psychic damage from the flower spraying them in the face. Uh, and then on their next saving throw, we'll go ahead and roll that D4. All right, great. Anything else, Leah? I will back up a little bit in case anybody else wants to move into that spot. <laughs> All right, very considerate. Uh, Shashan, what would you like to do? Yeah, actually, um, understanding that uh, Liv is probably doing something for only us, or, or just us, um, I'm actually just going to hold an action to... Uh, I'm going to scoot up here. I'm going to hold an action to... 
cast Cure Wounds on Darmok if he goes down. And that'll okay. be my, my turn. All right, Darmok at full health, what would you like to do? Yeah, well, at full health, <laughs> knowing I've got my buddy So Sean backing me up, I'm uh, going to go right into that fray. Uh, and okay. you said that this area, so right, I can just walk across this, This right? This 10 by 10 area is difficult terrain, but you can clamber through it. Okay, cool. I offer my arms up to, like, catch you as you climb over, just like, like a father. You say uppies? Uppies, please. <laughs> uppies, please. Uppies, please. <laughs> right. um, I'm going to see this hobgoblin right here, and I am going to do the, the classic cleric move of casting Guiding Bolt. Sure, at you'll have near advantage on it. Range. Go for it. Yeah. Sure. With a 24, you do hit, and the Guiding Bolt... Uh, basically creates a radiant hole inside the chest of the Hobgoblin as it collapses. As ah, for Zila! Uh, now, there might be a couple more chances for us to do initiative later, but we're going to go ahead and still reset the turn order anyway, because who uh, knows what your Barago is going to be as you move on. Uh, but the two Hobgoblins are dead, and you can faintly hear what sounds like the sound of battle coming from ahead. Uh, you also notice behind you, Null, yet another opening out into the massive tunnel. Ooh. This can't be OSHA compliant. Certainly not. But, recent moves, blasting a hole through this one's chest. I kind of, like, pat your shoulders and ask Darmok, you don't happen to be an orphan, do you? Uh, actually, no, I'm, I've got a really good relationship with my dad. Ah, you will never be sidekick material. I am sorry to break to you. What uh, about... Uh, yeah, I, I think I'll live. <laughs> you think you'll live? You don't, want, you don't want to be adopted? I will adopt you, and you can live with me in my cat mansion. Um, oh, I, his mansion, me, you say? <laughs> <laughs> well, my, my parents might be a little dead. Uh, <laughs> all right. uh, starting to follow down the hallway as I see Noel going. Um, and, we, and you said this, so it sounds like the violence is coming from this door area, not the tunnel. Uh... Yes, no, it's coming from the door ahead. Perfect. What you see in front of you is a stone door, and uh, you can indeed hear uh, the sound of combat on the other side. Oh, uh, it sounds like a good time for everybody. So Noel's going to look back, see if everyone's ready to go. Uh, two thumbs up from Darmok. He'll just stare at Soshan and wait for him to, like, canter forward. <laughs> Soshan's just uh, tinkering with their pocket watch. <laughs> okay. Uh, he's going to just turn around and just open the door. Sure. Ooh. And as you open the door, this hemispherical room has a pair of headless dwarven statues on the far side, in front of which are three mohawked Duragar. They are forming a shield wall as hobgoblins flit from shadow to shadow, flinging darts and attempting to jab the gray dwarfs in the eyes. What would you like to do? They have not as of yet uh, paid attention to you. Hmm. I'm just going to turn back to the others. Seems like people are fighting. Should we talk to them, or would you prefer violence? I see a martial arts master. This one could use the training to help defeat Agents of Chaos. No, well, you're happy to go on first. I, I, I look to, to Darmok, Leah, and, and Soshan. Like, fists, question mark? I'm, I'm down for some justice. I do not punch things. You need to strengthen your fists. Then you will learn. Justice it is. Well, I guess uh, I don't want to be the first one in, but I will, I will jump in, yeah. I just start fists flailing, attacking at the nearest hobgoblin. Sure, I'll let you have one attack for free. Are they considered surprised by me? They are not. Damn it. Ambush cat lies. Um, I want to go ahead and make my just one, two, and then um, Baleful Fury attack, and then just the basic martial arts um, unarmed uh, strike attack, which shouldn't have the minus two. I accidentally had the minus two at that. Yeah, so specifically what I meant was one attack, not oh, a one attack, of a, one attack, attack, not an entire attack, attack action. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Yeah. One, yes. I, uh, yep. A 16 will hit for 11 damage. I, perfect. Uh, but then I'll need everybody <laughs> to roll, roll, roll initiative. <laughs> oh, don't worry. I'll just, would you like five initiatives too? Um, I'm sorry. <laughs> I would like five initiatives. Thank you, thank you. All right, and this will probably be the few time, one of the few times that we're actually going to have multiple NPC initiatives in the turn order. Uh, normally, we'd be following the Camp Dragon model of having all the NPCs share one, uh, but for the purpose of uh, exactly what's happening here in this conflict, to be having two different initiatives happen. Shashan, what would you like to do? 
Uh, I actually would like to, uh, I'd like to hold my turn until after Null. That's totally fine. Um, uh, Leah, what would you like to do? I'm gonna move in a little closer here. I see a Hobgoblin and Bo Dwergar, and I will attempt to shoot the Hobgoblin with Chaos Bolt. Yeah, absolutely. A 19 will hit. That's a choice of lightning or fire. Let's go with lightning for that damage. <laughs> Don't know if it makes a difference, but that's what I'm going with. <laughs> uh, in terms of what they're vulnerable to, uh, lightning will not make a difference in that case, but nine damage will absolutely hit them. Yes, I was the agent of chaos all along. I knew I could smell chaos <laughs> among us. <laughs> you have no love for justice. <laughs> okay, uh, Leah, anything else you'd like to do? Uh, no, I think I'm gonna hold there for right now. All right, Darmok, you are up. All right, Darmok, um, Mace, Mace at the ready, just kind of starts uh, going right in. Um, justice on these guys? Justice on these guys. Um, I'm gonna walk down here, and I am going to make a melee attack. I'm actually gonna, uh, actually, uh, I'm going to use inflict wounds on uh, this guy right down here below me. Okay, go for it. Roll to hit. Oof. And eight he is going bit. to miss. I think that's going to be my turn right now. Okay. Uh, that's totally fine. Uh, no. What would you like to do? Uh, I was totally paying attention to my character sheet, so we're just going to doop a doop a doop. Five, ten. Look to see what's going on here. So we've got some, looks like, dwarfy boys fighting some gobliny boys. So I that feel is like we're an gonna... accurate assessment, yes. Okay, yeah. So we're just going to, as a bonus action... We're going to go ahead and, you know, not to stay predictable and do some weird shit. Uh, we're going to upcast Heroism. Well, we cast it at second level with one of our free uses for the day. Mm -hmm. And I can target two creatures. So I'm going to target myself and Catboy. Uh, so that is six temporary hit points. And you are now immune to fear. So enjoy that. Not that you weren't before. What to say, always was. I just... Yeah. <laughs> But now you just gotta be not smart are. enough to be afraid. Yeah, exactly, yeah. <laughs> uh, so we're gonna give that to Liz and Shadow and myself. Okay. And then Noah is going to just nonchalantly uh, take the rest of his movement to literally just walk past this guy and get on the other side of Gobliny Boy here. Sure. Since they don't understand uh, your exact character build, they will, of course, uh, make an unarmed <laughs> strike against you. <laughs> Absolutely. Let's do this. <laughs> It, it will roll for a 16, which I believe misses. Yes, is a miss. So I'm going to uh, offhandedly parry the blow and give him a duelist revenge strike. Ooh. Yeah, a 17 will hit, and that 15 will uh, cut that hobgoblin's head off as you tear out their throat, as you just simply walk past them as they try <laughs> to punch you, and you flick it out of the way with a quick strike to the neck. And make no mistake, Noel does walk. He does not run in combat. Um, oh, I again, believe He it. is the villain, for some reason, adventuring. Uh, and then he's going to attack this guy with a very subtle slice of the blade. Yeah. A, uh, not advantage, so 16. A 16 uh, will hit for 15 damage. Uh, and then do I feel like taking my second attack? Noel's done a lot this turn. Uh, we're going to do a... I call this a chaos check, if that's okay with you, Dan. Yeah, it's totally um, fine. So roll, Null rolls a charisma check, and if he rolls over a 10, he decides to be helpful. Well, uh, that, that is, is a just 10. a 10, not a 10, uh, not over a 10, so he's going to end his turn there. All right, duly noted, Null being Null. Uh, with that, the Duragar are going to, uh, still banded together, continuing to shout, uh, you know, as as one in Undercommon, for those of you that understand Undercommon, um, but there are three of you, I reply in undercommon. <laughs> They're going to <laughs> well, move sorry, down. I, I was holding my turn for Null. Oh, that's right. You were. Go ahead. Yes. So Go sorry. ahead. No, You're good. I'm just going to uh, head on into the room. Uh, and this is still a big bad too, right? That is a hobgoblin. Yes. Yeah, just making sure. Okay. Uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, let's mind whip him. Okay. All right, that is a 16 versus your 17, so that will fail. Awesome, and I'm going to limit them to bonus actions. Take it's such a mean spell. Damage. I love Tasha's mind whip. It's so cool. Okay. Uh, and so the way this plays out is essentially they're moving in, like in my mind, they're moving in slow motion. Oh, I see. You kind of like time them. Okay. Yeah. Cool. 
<laughs> yeah, that's sick. Okay, uh, the Durgar are going to take advantage of uh, your actions so far. Um, two of them are going to move down to the, uh, the shadow, and with their phalanx formation, they're going to go ahead and make uh, their attack rolls. You know, they get advantage because they're in their phalanx formation together, so that's 19 for 6 damage, another 23 for 9 damage. All right, uh, the final one that is up here is going to enlarge and uh, close into melee distance with the other Hobgoblin. And that is going to be their turns. It's up to Lives in Shadow. What would you like to do? Ooh, um, it looks like the Hobgoblins are pretty well covered. I'm going to step over the corpse of this one and point at the large lady at demanding to know if she stands with the forces of chaos or order. In under common, of course. Oh, of course. In under common. Uh, so, this Durgar, um glances at you. I'm gonna need you to give me a persuasion check to have them actually talk to you rather than continue to fight. Oh, this is not gonna be good. Alright, persuasion. My other bad skill. Right. With a nine, uh, they are not going to pay attention to you, and they're not going to answer you. They seem focused on the hobgoblins, but they're just not going to answer your query. They they look at you, but they they don't turn towards you to talk to you. Your silence speaks a thousand words, agent of chaos. I'm going to move in on this guy. Hopefully, unless does anybody have any um, adamition to try to stop me? I will I think you're good, bro. Okay, you're good. I wasn't as, sure. as far as... I don't want to ruin any type of attempt of diplomacy with them. Out of here. No, you're the face of the party, so... That's, that's perfect. That's a scrungly face. Okay, let's go. Um... He's the face with a minus one persuasion? <laughs> Hell yeah, he is. Best face <laughs> ever. Yep. That's the um, only way to do it. I'm going to do a... I'm going to attack at him once um, using an arm strike. Right. And I'm going to see if I can do Stunning Strike. With a 21, first. a 21 will hit for 7. And I'll do Stunning Strike, spinning one key, have him take a DC 21 con save. Or DC 20 con save. Absolutely. Two key left. That is going to be a fail. So, fully trying to stun him and then try to throw him. Um, switch, uh, they're switching into with what is it called? I built this specifically. Um, since I'm using my natural weapons, my claws, um, I'm going to grapple him. And since he's grappled, I'm going to use my other martial art of judo to throw this guy for an Ogoshi. Sure. Have him take a strength or a dex choice, a uh, dex save its choice, um, or be not prone. Uh, it is going to make this with advantage due to the fact that it is large. Yeah. Well, it is enlarged, I should say. Okay. Strength saving throw of a 19, which is going to still not make your DC 21. Okay. And so now they are prone and they take 9 damage. Is that what I'm seeing? Yeah. So they take 9 bludgeoning and that would be my turn as I just kind of um, stun him and throw him to the ground. All right. They are now also prone. Okay. Anything else you'd like to do, Lives in Shadow? That is me. We're good. All right. Our Hobgoblin Iron Shadows is going to go ahead, and this one is going to teleport over here. And due to the fact that the Stone Guard is now prone on the ground, um, it is going to try to make a bunch of attacks at advantage. I'm going to go one, two, three, four. All right. I have three hits against them. So four, five, six. Okay, and that's it for that Iron Shadow. This other one is going to also teleport, uh, and they are going to try to punch Shoshan. So we have one Arnum Strike, uh, 23. If it was Mind Whipped, um, does it have... Oh, that's correct. It does not. Yeah. That Ignore that one completely. That's the one that only has oh. bonus actions. Nice, nice. I think, I think okay, you can still you. bonus action teleport, but I was... Yeah. Uh, it cannot. Oh, damn. That, that teleport is not a bonus action teleport. Nice. That is part of something else. Uh, looking quickly at its... Nice catch, Liv. 
spells. It's, I live for, for anti-chaos, so real rules lawyer right here. Tell yeah, you right. <laughs> All right. Uh, it's just going to really quickly cast Expeditious Retreat on itself and then not move, because it can't. As silly as that might seem. All right, we are back at the top of our turn order with Shashan. Or would you like to delay again or take your turn? No, uh, we can uh, we can certainly go ahead. We're just going to go ahead and um, the one that I've got uh, that had mind whipped, I'm going to go ahead and cast Toll the Dead on them. Okay. Shadow. Go ahead. Still save. A 15 is going to fail. Uh, and it is going to, as little bell, it seems to clutch its head as it seems to hear an, an unearthly sound. It's going to collapse dead. A little bit of blood coming out of its facial orifices. All right. What else would you like to do, Shashan? Uh, that is going to be my turn. That's it. All right. Fantastic. Leah, what would you like to do? All right. So I'm going to move into the room here. Oh, look at that. There's a bunch of things in here. And they all seem to be gathered together quite well on that area there. Um... I am going to cast Wither and Bloom. Yeah, Constitution saving throw. Uh, are you going to have one creature do the other effect as well? Uh, yeah, Null is the only one in there, so if he wants to, he can roll a hit dice and regain that. Plus, uh, I believe it's four. Yeah, four. Okay, hit all points. right. <laughs> Let's see, we have three Stone Guard. I'll make the con saves. And... And what is your spell save DC, Leah? 18. 18? All right. They're all going to take six necrotic damage, which affects some of them more than others. I'm just going to look at Lives in Shadow and be like, I am chaos and order. Balance in all things. Attack both sides. Heal some. Damage others. Fence sitting will only bring you closer to justice. All right. Leah, would you like to do anything else? Uh, no, but uh, no, if you wanted to spend a hit dice, you could. To heal yourself. Oh, um, uh, yeah, I suppose I should do that. <laughs> right. Uh, sure. Beep. While Null takes care of that, we're going to move on to Darmok. Darmok is uh, going to just kind of scoot down around here, and he's going to go and he's going to go right for this hog goblin, and he's going to lay into him uh, with the mace. He's going to use another one of his uh, double attacks for being a war priest. Okay, go for it. Ooh, that is a critical, a critical miss. With the critical miss and a critical hit. <laughs> Gotta love it. Um, so that is going to be a total of 11 damage to it. Indeed. Uh, and you are going to end up crushing the Iron Shadow right in their stomach, and they're going to fall backwards onto the Headless Dwarf statue. All right. What else would you like to do, Oops. Darmok? Um, as far as... Uh... Don't forget to take a point of focus for your very, very big miss. Very, very big miss right there. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to shout back, No, Liv, uh, you guys still doing all right? I am suitable, yes. Okay. Uh, well, um, I'm going to save my healing words then, uh, and I'm going to pass my turn then. Okay. Uh, no. All right. Uh, so it was executive decision to murder everyone in the room, apparently. So let's get to murder. Not murder, justice, but yes. <laughs> yeah, sure. Those are totally two different things in this party. Uh, so this dude is... We have qualified Rex. immunity. It's okay. Don't worry, I'll cut that out. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, but, I will cut that stuff out. Please don't. Please do not. Yeah, uh, leave it. Big dwarf lady is prone still? Prone and stunned. Wow. Okay, that's a rough life. So we're going to leave her alone because she's having a bad day. Uh, so we're going to scroll down to here. <clears throat> And just kind of, Noah's going to walk up, extend a hand, and bow politely to these Dwergar. Oh, sure. And then try and kill them. So as a bonus action, let's go ahead and use one another. Yeah, why not? We have a lot of uses of our fell blades, so we'll activate that. As again, his blade starts growing green, and he suddenly moves into a much more deadly stance. And is going to take two attacks at this one right in front of him. All right, go so for it. Not rolling an advantage, and slice, slice. A right, 26 and a 20 will both hit. All right. 23 damage off the first one, and then 18 damage off the second. 
and as your glowing green blade uh, slices through the Sturgar, um, the one next to it uh, cries out in undercommon, Lord Urkom! No! No, I don't know who that is. And then he'll just end his turn. All right. Uh, the stone guard is simply going to try to attack you back, um, however futile that might be. Okay, all right. No one can take damage. I've, I've gone, I'm going unconscious, all right? It's just going to go ahead and make a short sword attack, a 23 to hit. That is a hit, but it's still a hit, absolutely. That's your attempt to deflect it, right? Yeah, that was the attempted parry in it. Uh, go ahead and you rolled a 19 for that extra parry. Um, but so you're going to go ahead and take 10 damage, uh, 10 piercing damage, not magic. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Uh, that is really it for the stone guard. They don't have a lot of extra actions. And I believe the other one is still stunned, Bailey? Um, so, okay. So we have stunning strike on targets. Uh, it can attempt, or so it'll be stunned until the end of my next turn. Um, so... It is, yes, yeah, still stunned. That's what I thought. Okay, speaking of, it is your turn. <laughs> I forgot how that spell, how that, or not spell, how that ability works. Yep, um, stunning full, strike, monk shenanigans. Full, um, just kind of like when you guys see do, Batman do the, like, throw someone down, and just, like, really start wailing on him um, as she's just on the ground. I just start screaming justice, uh, <laughs> trying to, to sure. bring liberation to these people. Yep, just go ahead and give me one attack, though, because they have a single hit point. Okay. There I really just want to see if you hit them. Uh, hey, I miss. That is actually, despite the fact that they are stunned and prone, a miss. I will take my second as, attack. As they are covered in armor. Uh, that will be a hit. There, okay. There's a hit. Uh, there we go. You know, you punch them right in the face, and you watch as their body slowly starts to shrink back to normal. Um, or my to their fists other size. can shrink people? Sure. I... I'm now just, I'll end my turn as I just, like, look at my fists, sure. wondering what power I've just unlocked. Shadow, maybe you are the chaos. No. No. <laughs> I refuse. All right. Uh, but that's Destiny it for you. Destiny has other plans. Okay. Uh, then we're back up with Shoshan. Outstanding. Yeah, again, I feel like I, Shoshan is, is confident in the warriors within the group, and I think he's just going to take a step to be able to see out this doorway, and... Uh, I'll hold my action to, uh, uh, Leah's the only person next to me, so hold my action to cast Cure Wounds if they go down. Okay, Leah, do you think you're going to go down? <laughs> uh, uh, not this round. Well, it's your turn, so go ahead. Yeah. Um, <laughs> there's only one person left, so I, Correct. I'm going to go back to cantrips then, and I'm just going to try to chill touch it. All right, uh, an 18 will hit. That's eight necrotic damage, and, uh, they won't retain hit. They're not, not undead, so the other kicker won't apply. But yes, an 18 okay. will hit the stone guard. Okay, anything That'll else, do. Leah? That'll do. All right, Darmok, you're up once again. Darmok is going to go up, and uh, it keeps working pretty well. Uh, I'm going to try to keep bashing things with my mace. All right, go for it. You know, take, um, we're just going to make a single attack. A uh, 25 be... will hit. Four bludgeoning damage. Anything else you'd like to do? Um, I think that'll be it right now. Okay. All right. No, what would you like to do? Uh, let's see. So there's one left. Poor yep. guy. Bleeding, furious, trying to sort of stand over the body of the one you just killed. Right. Not oh, succeeding. that's just a bad day. Um, I don't know. Would it be more merciful to put this one out of their misery or let them surrender? You can always roll your chaos uh, check. Yeah, like let's to. just see. Let's see what happens. So I think if we roll above a 10, we're going to offer helpful. some kind of mercy. Nope. All right. We're going to kill him. Uh, Sonal is going to just nonchalantly sort of shrug and look sort of bored somehow, even wearing that mask. Uh, as he's going to turn around and just very lightly uh, just kind of flick his blade over his neck. Yeah. 18 will absolutely hit. Uh, with Even with that fell damage and the slashing, though, they manage to just barely hold on, even though you sink through a lot of their armor. They're barely holding on to life. Mm, and we rolled a nine, so we're going to finish him off. Yeah, with a 25 to hit <laughs> and 8 fell damage, 16 slashing for a total of 24, you absolutely obliterate the single hit point that don't st uh, Stone Guard still had left. No, it's going to oh. shrug a little bit. Um, and then you'll watch as he extends a hand and draws the literal life force out of this now corpse in front of him. Right. And some of his wounds heal. And that is healing via which part of your ability? 
So it's actually the blade. Uh, yes, so the, the star blade the has a draining ability. feature on it. Yeah, as Thank the um, magical feature. feature. So I've yeah. been having him do that. So he's been slowly healing his wounds from the mold. Oh, yeah, absolutely. No, <laughs> I, I I know about your sword's draining feature. I just wanted to help yep, say it, it for it. the listeners. It just looks like he's legitimately consuming the soul of the creature he's killing. Because again, It is very creepy. All right. So you currently have two dwarves. Excuse me, I almost said dwarves. Uh, doors in this room. The one standing behind the headless dwarf statues. And the one to yourself. Hmm. What would you all like to do? Are these, I mean, I guess it's probably hard to tell since they don't have heads anymore, but are these statues of famous dwarves or are these just pure decorative dwarf statues? That is a fantastic question. Go ahead and give me a history check. Can I help while I'm there? Uh, if you're trained in history, you absolutely might. I believe that I am just double checking. Yes, I am. Yeah, okay. absolutely. So 17. Yeah, with a 17, you examine uh the faces the i mean the heads are still there uh they're just oh. at the feet of the dwarves in question as if somebody had removed them um and they look fairly nondescript uh leah since you're right up there investigating those statues go ahead and give me a perception check hi with a five uh yeah those are dwarf statues <laughs> i'm gonna and open nice. the door yeah as you open the door uh you see uh, this room contains a pile of red shattered glass, a tapestry depicting what you would assume are dwarves at a feast hall, which is kind of hard to tell with the faces deftly cut out, and a duragar frantically trying to bury something in the ashes of a fireplace while trying to keep a door, door to the north shut with an outstretched foot. Hey, buddy, what do you think about justice? <laughs> His answer to that as he looks through the door at the slaughtered duragar in that room is going to be... They were all killed by the hobgoblins before we got here. Make a deception check. <laughs> Come on, Leah. 13. <laughs> Can I guidance it? <laughs> yeah, he, um, absolutely. He pauses. And you still watch as he, as you watch as a, a sword, mater a short sword, materializes in his hand, glowing bright purple. Um, he is pointing it at you, but he's not attacking right now. He's still in a sort of a defensive posture. But he stopped scrabbling around. His foot is still on the door over here, holding it shut. What you, what you doing there? What do you want to know? We hear there are bow thieves in the area. Bow, bow thieves? Bow thieves. Agents of chaos, as it were. Chaos? I, I don't know anything about agents of chaos. Everyone's lawful here, but uh, I, I think the hobgoblins brought back a bow recently. Oh great! Do you know where they put it? Somewhere south of here. You could you could take it off him. I don't I don't care about any of that. Feel free to kill him, honestly. Oh okay. I mean, say less. We shall bring them justice then. If they are the true bow thieves, we apologize for. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, no, I don't care about any bow. Like, go right ahead. <laughs> All right. Well, thank thank you for your time. Salute. Sure. What's, what's up? Uh, what's up that way to the, the yeah. what, what's the door you're holding closed? By the way, there's a lot of spiders behind it. Oh. Oh really? Oh. I like spiders. I don't think Wait. you'll like these spiders. So your goal is to hold the door closed forever like that? For for now, at least, until I can, you know, seal it properly. Why not just let the spiders out and fight them? I do not think I could last that long against that many spiders on my own. What do you need to seal the door? Well, frankly, all I need is some time alone, uninterrupted, without hobgoblins trying to kill me. Oh, that's what they're calling it now. Sealing the door. Ah, uh, I get your lingo. You shall get your alone time. Go, this one is perverse. We should... <laughs> oh, close leave this old freak to himself. <laughs> oh, God. Got his, his proclivities. I mean, honestly, a weird time to be choosing, but I mean, mm. hey, 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 hey. judge. Right? Don't, don't yuck their yum. That's all I got to say. So we're going to be constantly choosing the least fun option. What's the most fun option? Opening the door, obviously. I opened the door. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of all spiders. I find to be fun. And spiders and water. <laughs> Being intentionally obtuse is also not exactly a fun decision. Are we continuing, Darmok? Yeah, I'm. I'll. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll well, let's. Uh, let's get this door down. Do -do -do. All right. As you open that door, uh, to the south of you, uh, this hallway is the first one you've seen that's actually been swept recently. Oh, wow. Well, mm. well clean. Um, that speaks right. well for them, as not being agents of chaos. Yeah, Darmok, as you round the corner, 
Uh, you see three hobgoblins actually apparently trying to set up an ambush outside a different door. Can I roll stealth to see if I can sneak up on them? At this point, I'm going to say no. Darn. <laughs> they do turn around and notice you. You know, um, the covered hey, in up, blood guys? dragonborn. Um, <laughs> hey, don't worry. We took care of the Drogar in the other room. I'm going to need you to make a percep uh, persuasion <laughs> check. All right. 18. Uh, they, they believe that you killed the Drogar. Uh, one of them steps forward a little bit with their long sword outstretched. All right. And our brothers. Oh, we, we didn't get there in time to save them. We I'm killed really sorry. them too. Oh, oh my God. Well, <laughs> there you go. Uh, they believe you and they are quite ready to fight. I'm going to need everyone to roll initiative. All There's right. There's got to be so much justice. Well, speaking of justice lives in shadows. It is your turn. Fully. As they, as as Noel yells at across, and I hear them drowning their weapons, I just yell at you, Darmok. Duck! They are agents of chaos. Let's be what five, ten, fifteen, twenty-five, thirty. Yeah. Twenty-five, thirty-five. I have forty movement speed. Holy shit! I'll I'll get here. Oh. Cool, cool, cool. Rushing up. Um, still, I'm assuming not, um, even though they were just seeing Darmok, I'm assuming they're still not considered ambushed by any means. Not at all. Sweet. That's fine. Uh, let's go ahead and we'll save some martial artist points and just go one, two, and then so the attack, extra attack, baleful, baleful strike, and so, then... before yes. we get to that, uh, who are you attacking with your first attack? This primary guy right here um, oh, that right. I'm seeing on the side. With a 22, that will deal 10 damage. Uh, well, no, 8 damage, since that's encountering yeah. just your extra. Uh, then your second attack is a 23 for another 11. Uh, that's going to take them right in the throat, uh, crumpling their larynx, and they're going to drown in the pool of their own blood. And then you have your your third strike, that your baleful one. Yeah, and then that would be... Um, all without using my bonus action, which I'll do then for my final attack on using my bonus action on that guy. Yeah, your 23 for... there will also hit for another 11, but that that last one, before you even do that one, the 23 Baleful, that is the earlier oh. one there, that is, with 11 damage, that's enough to kill him. They they don't have a terrible amount of hit points. Yeah. Damn. The balance, of course, being their 18 AC. Um, so mm -hmm. that fourth attack that you have down there, uh, which would miss, is... I don't know if you were going to intend to yeah. direct it towards the last one. I, 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 have, I have just enough movement to get there, so I might as well. Sure. Justice. Uh, go ahead and roll me a stealth check. Ooh. All right, 25. Uh, is there anything else you'd like to do? That is it. I'm staring this guy down. Great. You silently move amongst them. Uh, with your quick, deft strikes, hitting the pressure points and the soft parts of their body uncovered by armor uh, until the last one just manages to stop your final punch against the edge of their shield. Um, and the two that are around crumple to the ground relatively noise noiselessly for wearing all that armor. Alright, show shot! We are going to 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and then bonus action rabbit hot, find 10, 15 to get here. Alright. Managing to get yourself all the way from the hemispheric room to the room where the three hobgoblins were setting up an ambush. Great. Uh, and now we are the ambushers, and we're going to go ahead and... Uh, is this one injured? It is not. Okay. Well, let's try and injure it. All right. That is another Toll the Dead. Go ahead and have them roll a Wisdom save. That is an 8 versus your 17, so they're going to go ahead and take 4 necrotic damage. All right. Uh, and that is my full movement and bonus action, so we're all set. That's us. Right. Uh, okay. That means it is now their turn. So, this one is going to try to maneuver around its dead fellow, uh, and try to make a longsword attack against you, Lives in Shadows. Uh, it is going to go ahead and one single attack on you, a 19 to hit. 19 will miss. All right. Nine slashing damage is going to go nowhere. And with that null, it is your turn. 
Okay, so we caused some chaos, so we're going to help. Oh, nope. Didn't mean to close the door. That would have been even funnier, though. <laughs> uh, let's see here. We'll take five feet in. Move 20 down here. Uh, you know, everything's a bit too far for us. And you know what Null doesn't have is ranged attacks. Um, hmm. The oddest amount of balance for your very <laughs> heavy build. Legitimately has no ranged about ability. I just throw all. the star sword. You fine. Yeah. Um, <laughs> It does not have... I would if I, I gave it the throwing quality, but I did not. Uh, let's see here. Fucking Darth <laughs> Vader. <laughs> yeah, just straight up fuck that saber. And honestly, like, uh, I don't want to mind blast because that would hit my cat buddy and he's too entertaining to hurt. I'm, I'm also entirely too dumb to survive. <laughs> yeah, and it just like, these not I don't think well it's possible for you to pass. Do you want to try to put this one to sleep as well? Uh, no, no, I want to. I only can use that so many times, and this is not an appropriate time for it. So, as an action, we're gonna dash, okay, and we're gonna taunt him and be like, Haha, You suck, <laughs> just like the most dumb taunt on the planet. As he's just gonna run by him as a dash action. I, I all I see is that one uh Metal Gear Solid meme of Big Boss <laughs> going, Ha ha ha, and then like jogs a little bit, Ha ha ha. <laughs> sure, they're the not. They're not terribly smart, so as you round the corner to break that line of sight, it'll try to make a long sword attack on you. Perfect. Um, uh, obviously then... going to be a very big miss with a 12 versus your AC 23. Yeah, so let's let's give a retaliatory strike, because we're going to get an attack off this Yeah, round, a so. 24 retaliatory strike will absolutely beat their AC, and your 16 slashing damage will very much so uh, beat their last remaining 7 hit points. Cool. Hey, we made that work. Uh, dash action, reaction attack, and then we're just going to sheathe our sword. Yeah, you are now standing in a hallway with a bunch of dead bodies. Oh. You have one door side. over here to the west, and a couple more doors over here around the corner. Well done, Darmok. Your negotiating tactics were priceless. Thanks. You gave them the chance that they deserved. Um, as I kind of like offer you up one of their hands... Oh, uh, no, thanks. I'm I'm full. <laughs> That's not what they mean when they say lend a hand. What do they mean? I think he nailed it it's, exactly. Means to assist. Why would they not just ask to assist? Why ask for hands if they are not wanting hands? You know, I never really thought about it like that. Uh, that I've one. That's a pretty mountains. good one. Listen, I have so. much wisdom. It's complicated. Oh, a door has suddenly appeared next to me. Yeah, there is a door to your left, as well as a few doors down and to the right. I open the door. Oh, there's people in here. Leah, as you open the door, you see two Duragar uh, sitting at tables, uh, enjoying a meal, and they look up as you open the door. And they say, Uh, are you the new mercenaries? Yeah, we took care of these um, uh, hobgoblins about to ambush you. Go ahead and make a persuasion check. There we go. Okay. Well, that's awfully kind of you. Uh, do you have, uh, you know, orders yet? And what you're supposed to be doing? Ah, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know, Leo. What were our orders again? <laughs> uh, so far, we've mostly just been left to our own devices to sort of, you know, get the get the feel of everything. It's our first day, you know, and we, we kind of got to, you know, get situated, see um where everything is you know, we still haven't been shown you know where the where the office is um where we can you know file our proper paperwork <laughs> oh sure that's just right around the corner there uh there's some more hobgoblins probably around that way too though so you know if uh Herbcomb got you to hire you to clean them all out um then you know be wary there's some over there as well oh thank you very much what was the whole sp why are there spiders also? I, I, You know, it's like, no one's told us why there's all the spiders in that one room. Uh, we don't know anything about spiders. Oh, some some, some kind of... Oh, did we get his name? You uh, did well, not. You absolutely did not ask him what his name was. Yeah, some some guy with a sword uh, told us that there were spiders in a room. That was um, glowing sword? Oh! No, it was purple. It was oh, purple you must too. mean Grimbelly. Oh, yeah. Uh, I don't, I don't know why there's spiders over there. I mean, Grimbelly knows a lot. He's really smart. Why does he hate spiders? I mean, probably doesn't. He's not probably like arachnophobic. If he says there's bad, there's a lot of spiders. Probably a lot of spiders. 
I think he might need your guys' help. I, I, he has, I, I think he might need your guys' help up there. Oh, yeah. okay. Uh, go ahead and make a uh, persuasion check. Or deception, oh, whichever you prefer. I'm going to go persuasion. Is okay. anyone helping me? <laughs> um, I don't have the skill, so I can't. <laughs> okay. I guess I'm fine. Uh, with an 18, they're like, oh, okay, well, if Grimbelly needs help, we should go help out Grimbelly. And they'll uh, get up to leave the room. Good luck. Yeah, and they'll just disappear Move out of the way. The corner. I love it. <laughs> right? Well, I'm As just going and try and see if I can see. This appears to be a sort of a break room. It's simple. Few chairs and tables with food and ale atop them. A fireplace feeds into a hidden chimney. Um, that's really it. Is the food still good? It What's appears to be simple, under common fare. So it's mostly mushrooms, um, bits of gray meat, so on and so forth. Would no. you like to investigate the room? Uh, yeah, I'd like to investigate the room, see if there's anything of value in here. Yeah, absolutely. Go ahead and give me an investigation check. Oh, gosh, no. Uh, with a six. With a six. <laughs> With a six, uh, you don't really find very much. Mm, Gray meat, just like mom used to make. Yeah, the food seems it, like it meets the most basic metric for nutrition, but mm. probably not a lot of flavor. Fair enough. Well, uh, Dharma will probably start heading back out. Okay, what would you all like to do? You is have this two, an, you have two is doors there. there door? One to the south. There is. There is a door on the opposite side of the room, Lizard Shadow. Okay. I Seeing that other people are leaving, I'll, I'll follow them. Oh, I... I'll be honest, I didn't even see the door. <laughs> yeah, neither did I until I, I was like, oh, shit, is there a door? I'll use Mage Hand again and open the door. Great. It extends out into the tunnel you see, you saw carved out earlier. It's it is a sheer oh. it is a sheer drop. They really got to get, get a hold of OSHA. Honestly, like, these working conditions are pretty rough. I mean, this door should at least be labeled, you know, caution or something. Sheer bad. drop ahead. Mm-hmm. Then I close the door. It was closed. <laughs> That's about it. Sure. No, you have two doors. One to the right of the screen, a.k.a. the east, and one to the south. (laughs) No, just reaches out and opens the southern door. Yes. As you open the southern door, um, this hallway has been slightly dusted, uh, but contains several piles of rubble. Two Duragar wearing strange metal outfits are sorting the rubble into piles, while a hobgoblin nervously watches them, talking loudly and common about how much he likes gruel. Well, that's strange. What's behind this door? Uh, As you open that door... Uh, you sense the tension on the other side. Hobgoblins are threatening a lone Duergar who has screamed back at them in undercommon curses. You notice an ornately carved bow on a far table behind a hobgoblin whose eyes glow with magic. Oh, perfect. Hello. Can we take that bow from you, please? Uh, as you step into the room, all the weapons in the room point towards you. Well, that's awfully rude of you. We're just here for the bow. Uh, the hobgoblin, who is wearing plate armor at the front... Uh, snarls at you. That bow's for our tribe. We need it. Now fuck off. Get out of here. How the? Why did you get past the guards? Oh, they're dead. Oh, gods. Uh, Are you great? That's. Well, did you know them or something? Are you admitting to thieving that bow? I'm gonna oh. need you to roll initiative. <laughs> I'll, I'll move them the way. Everyone oh, in this place is so violent. Hey, this is what ha- this is why no, this is why you don't trust thieves. Thieves are violent. <laughs> One nice, One. Bits. nice. Hey, you know what? Darmok's just vibing, man. Hey, I consider low rolls to be the strategic position. You yeah, know, listen, I'm really not see the play rolling thing? low on my initiative. Feel. I'm just taking my time to assess the situation precisely. All right. So as we come across yet another combat, uh, Shoshan, you are here to start us off. Uh, yeah, actually, I'm thinking, I'm gonna do something a little silly, I think. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and, um, focus on the guy, this is the guy holding the bow, right? This one here? Uh, nobody is holding the bow, it is on a oh. table in the back. Oh, I'm sorry, so does this person, does this one seem to be differentiated in any way, then? Uh, it is a Duragar who was pointing weapons at the Hobgoblins, but is now pointing all, everyone is pointing their weapons at Null. And we're just indiscriminately killing everyone at this point, right? We're not taking So far. So far yeah. you have been, with the exception of the two Duragar in the break room. And yeah. Grimbelly, who you also let oh, left yeah, alive. Right. We're well, kind he's, of on the side of the Duragar. Yeah, We're but kind like, he's of holding, on their side, right? He's holding the spider door. That's an important job. Okay, mm-hmm. then what I'm going to do is, uh, actually, I'm going to cast, um, I'm going to cast Vortex Warp, and I'm going to get this guy over by me. Okay. Um, it is... It is going to try to make a con save. It's not going to willingly sure. let itself be transported. That's fine. Uh, right. DC that is a con saving throw. 
Uh, it will have advantage on the saving throw, as this is a spell. Uh, and 11 is probably not going to be your DC. No, uh, 17. 17. All right, so where are you teleporting them to? Uh, just right next to me, and I want to tell him that when he gets over here, I want to tell him that you said his name was Grimbelly. Uh, I did not, no. That was the guy upstairs. Grimbelly was the I'm other sorry, guy. the guy upstairs is Grimbelly? Yeah. With the spiders? Yes. Northward, yeah. not upstairs. But well, northward. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, north. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I want to tell him, Grimbelly needs you now. Go, we got this. <laughs> sure, make a deception check. Uh, oh, dang. He is going to not believe you. And then that is going to be my turn. Okay, great. No, you are up. Uh, all right. Well, okay, that guy's out of the way, so we're not going to include him in this. And Olive is going to look at them, look very disappointed, though. Of course, you can't see his facial expressions, so he's just going to slightly tilt his head to the side. I'm and sure that, the body he, language he, will, will convey. Yeah, it's like, okay, he could be disappointed, or he could be considering what my corpse looks like. Um, so he's definitely doing the latter at this point. These guys are obviously oh, right. hostile, and they have our bow. It is our bow, obviously. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and as a bonus action, we're going to use our last uh, free use of heroism for the day. Okay. Who and are you we're going to give that, that to both myself and uh, can I? It has to do with in touch range. So the he's going to reach around and give his cat friend heroism and okay. himself, which again gives you six temporary eight points. And he's going to turn towards these guys, and he's going to shrug and hold his hand out as a wave of psychic energy blasts into all of them with a good okay. old mind blast. All right, that's an intelligence save, correct? Yes, it is. Okay. Everyone's favorite thing to hear. Nailed it, Warlord. Warlord. Uh, I like that to hit all four of them. Two for the shadows, totally. Full going to the one shadow and the Devastator, and then Horshgar and the other Iron Shadow make the save, uh, which means they take halvesies, I assume. No damage on a full save. Okay, no damage or effect on the full save. Alright, uh, what else would you like to do, Noel? Uh Then, we're going to not move, but simply disappear and reappear behind the Devastator. Okay. Cool. And that's the end of our turn. Right, that also places you adjacent to the bow itself on the table. All uh, right. Oh, as an object interaction, am I able to just grab that? Uh, I'm going to say for that, not in that case, no. Okay. Simply because that's of totally fair. both its size and the fact that everyone's interested. Noted, that's all for me. All right, Lives in Shadow, you are up. Um, I look, I, I leave it to who I'm now considering to be the ju judiciary of um, order, being the person who controls time, time being ma magnificent order. So, Sean, is this one in need of justice? Uh, no, no. Okay. Justice is is, uh, is lacking on inside the room. Then justice will find its way there. I do leave its range, and I'm not going to attempt to, to step the wind or any type of trickery um, in case he does do any um, attacks of opportunity. Uh, does he, he probably will, yeah. Simply because they're, they he got teleported. He didn't believe uh, Shoshan, um, so it is going to try to hit you with its mind poison dagger. Uh, nah. 18 will miss. I'm going to, yeah, I'll take on the Warlord guy. Sure. Um, this guy is very much in need of justice and he admitted to thieving so I'm just going to take off the gauntlets and fully I now have my claws out okay. um, they are due to what you call it uh, it's a background thing poisonous heritage as a beast um, I do have poison damage for the slashing and I'm going to go one two uh, ignore baleful strike because I didn't mean to have that on All right, uh, uh, that first one is going to miss that second Sweet. one will hit for, let's see, 11 damage. And then I'm going to use my Baleful Strike on the last one. Okay. 18? Uh, and 18 will miss. Damn. And then I'm going to use my bonus action to spend a key point and do uh, dodge. Step of the wind. There you go. That's the word. Oh, so you're going to take the dodge? Yeah. All right. Taking the dodge. Okay. Uh, it is time for the Duragar. Uh, the one that is over here is going to yell out an undercommon at the ones down here. They're going to actually step up really quickly and attempt to attack the hobgoblin who was trying to convince them how great Gruul was. And they're going to make... The first one's going to make a claw attack and then a hammer attack. Uh, and that is going to absolutely murk the hobgoblin right there. And so this one is just going to continue to run up the corridor, not getting quite fast, 
uh, as the 21 from that earlier hammer dealt 11 bludgeoning damage, killing the Hobgoblin outright. The other hammer is going to rush up, as are these hammers down here. 5, 10, 15, 20. And this one's not going to be able to pass through. It's going to get stuck at this choke point around the Hobgoblin corpse. Uh, the Mind Master that tried to stab lives in shadow. Um... Not fully convinced that everyone is on its side here. Um, it is going to go ahead and look at you, Darmok. Darmok, I'm going to need you to give me an intelligence saving throw. Ooh. All right. Thank God it wasn't me. <laughs> Oof. Darmok, I'm going to need you to make a weapon attack against Shoshan. Hey, listen, it's not personal. <laughs> <laughs> all right, uh, Shoshan, uh, a 22 currently hits. Is that all right? Yeah, but we're going to go ahead and um, let's actually shield. Shield? All right, yeah. so that puts you up to 23, which should deflect that big old mace. And then he's going to reach over, and Darmok, he's going to stab you. 23 to hit, Darmok. Oh, that's definitely going to hit. Okay, four piercing and then 17 psychic damage. Oof, <laughs> that is uh, definitely a, a significant amount. Um, For, that's a total of 21, Deuce, unless you have some resistances okay. I don't know about. Great, oh, that is it. not at all. <laughs> it for the Duragar. The other Duragar have gone on to uh, assist with Grimbelly, so those two Duragar will not be returning for a while. And as we come around to that, that means it's now Leah's turn. Okay, uh, I can move through uh, Darmok's space, right? That is correct. But as a reminder, now that the Mind Master has had its turn again, um, if you move out of or away, the Nostricon has refreshed its reaction. So please keep that in mind as you move through that space. Okay. Uh, I don't think I'm going to move that far. I think I'm just going to move over here, because yes, now I can see inside the room here. Okie dokie. Uh, fireball, right there. Okay, deck saves from people with minus twos to their dexterity. Uh, that gets all four of them. Yep. All right, look at that. Look at that array of all going to take Ooh. 25 fire damage. Um, they are not dead. I'm going to back up here. And still staying in range then, and that'll be my turn. Okay, so uh, it is now the Hobgoblin's turn. Starting off, uh, we're going to start with the Warlord. Now, Bailey, you are right, um, right next to them. Um, it is going to try to shield bash you. Uh, 27 oh. to hit. Definitely gonna hit me. I'm gonna need you to make a strength or, saving throw. Be nice I suppose throw. if I am dodging, would it be the 22? Uh, it would be the 22, which would still hit. Perfect, because it'd be like right on it. So yeah, so then I will take the 6. Uh, yes, yeah, so you <laughs> are still, still standing up. Uh, it is going to use this opportunity to use its martial advantage. Deal an extra 4d6 damage to you. Since its Iron Shadow is right next to you. Yeah. Alright, we have... That's gonna hurt. It is going to sting. Uh, that is another 17 damage. Ooh. Down to 10. Alright, uh, that was its first melee attack. It is now going to hit you with its longsword. Uh, 22 to hit. Yep, if as, long as, um, as long as you treat a meat says hitting. Yeah, yes. Yes, meets it beats it. Beautiful, so that is another hit. Alright, 5 slashing damage. And last but not least, one final longsword attack. Uh, an 11 will miss, I believe. Still standing. Five health. Great. The iron shadow that is right next to you. <laughs> um, it is going to go ahead and try to punch you in the face with you its own this, fist. Boy. I got this dodge. Come that on. Nine to hit. That is going to miss. A 13. Yeah. A 9, and an 11. Ooh, look at that crit. It could have been. Uh, but you managed to survive all of those uh, little taps. Uh, speaking of little taps, Null, this Iron Shadow is going to try to come over what? and do the same thing. Look at Doki. Let's it do doesn't seem to be aware of your proclivities. Um, all right. First on strike, that is a 9. Uh, would you like to score. respond to that? Oh, we're definitely going to boop him on the snoot for that. All right, boop, boop. away. <laughs> that is a critical hit boop uh, critical for boop. 18 slashing damage. 
as it tries to jab you right in the face and you effortlessly flick away its arm. Uh, it's going to try to smack you again with a nine. The, the, I think the thing takes your reaction, right? Uh, yeah, I can only do it once. So, okay, it's okay. yeah, I can't just keep doing it. <laughs> All right, great. Just <laughs> checking. That's so bad. Honestly, I could believe anything at this point. All right. Okay. Uh, 24 to hit. He does indeed score. You know what? I think we're going to do, we're going to use the uh, parry on this one if oh, we can. Okay. Just because <laughs> I like I like watching you cry. Yeah, the Every 25 season. will parry it. Uh, yeah, and uh, it there's parries... no damage on this. Oh, uh, it it's just damage. it parries the blow. Yeah, it yeah. makes a mess. Okay, uh, that's not the one that it's just your. if it meets it, it parries it, not adding extra AC for the rest. Yeah, correct. Okay, yeah. great. All right, third one coming in. Uh, 23, that just he meets it, right? It. I have nothing I can do against yeah. that. Yeah, All right, that does, five non-magical <laughs> bludgeoning damage. Which doesn't break my temporary HP. <laughs> oh, good lord. All right, the final, the final unarmed... Oh, wait. Uh, no, you did one earlier for that one. That, that, is, that yeah. is the final one. Okay. If you hate right. the characters I make, you should see the bosses I build for players. <laughs> it is now going to teleport uh, away. It's going to try to shadow jaunt um, over, because it can just see out of the room, over into melee with Darmok. Uh, and last but not least of our hobgoblins that are not completely murdered, well, funnily enough, uh, it took a small idea from Leah. Uh, so, it is going to drop a fireball right in the middle of the room. It's going to upcast it to 4th level because I don't want to deal with Ice Storm inside. That is a DC 13, and it is going to use Army Arcana um, to make it and the Iron, Shadow, Iron Shadows and Proshkar immune. Uh, and to succeed on the saving throw. So, Null and lives in shadow. Give me that deck save. Does uh, the dodge action confer advantage on deck saves? I think it does, yes. I think the half damage is going to kill me anyways, but hey. Oh, I look you're, that's good. right. You're only level 5, right? You haven't gotten invasion yeah. yet? Uh, yeah. Yeah. I look good going down. Hey, you look really good with that 27. Um, that half is still going to be uh, 16 fire damage. Yeah. I'm done. All right, you are down. You are prone now. Uh, no, uh, I believe. Oh, yeah, that nine is not a success. Nine is not a success. That is thirty-three. I think you already subtracted it. Oh yeah, uh, yeah, I did. Ooh, the pain. Um, and you used your reaction to parry, correct? Uh, so technically, it doesn't actually take a reaction to do one of those things. Oh, you're so silly. <laughs> uh, all right. Um. In that case, he's going to attempt to move away from you. Uh, you know what? Let's Just roll some chaos. Here. Let's see how we want to do about this. Uh, we are not feeling merciful. Uh, so we will use our reaction to try and smack him once. All right, go right? for it. We're going to, like, you know, like the coach smacks you on the ass as you're, like, going out in the field. He does that, but it's a sword. I have never actually experienced that. Um, uh, uh, that's a natural one, actually. So I rolled a two, which for Noel counts as a natural one, so that's a mess. Okay, which is funny because if that wasn't, it would have be just enough to hit his AC. Um, <laughs> all right, so moving on. Uh, finally, at last, Darmok, what would you like to do? All right. Oh, I wouldn't be able to move diagonally past this, uh, this hobgoblin, wouldn't I? Um, you, you technically, no, they are blocking the doorway. Right yeah, now. that's blocking. Oof. Oh, hey, hey save this guy. We're, we're, we're deciding to do the right thing here. No, never mind. You just stabbed me and my brain hurt. Um, so I am I am going to be casting Inflict Wounds. A 22 will hit and another 22 damage as well. All right, excellent. Um, I am going to... Actually, oh, crap. You know what? Because I realized I have Healing Word. Um, oh, crap. Uh, would, uh, would you let me retroactively take that one back to cast Healing Word? Mm, yeah, Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I'd say Darmok, he would be more likely to cast Healing Word. On, sure, go uh, ahead and roll your Healing Word. I assume you're getting it to Lives in Shadow? Yes. <laughs> Mercy. Sure. Lives in Shadow, you're still prone, but you have six hit points. I was born prone. Right. Darmok, uh, what would you like to do with your main You'll action? You'll die prone. Oof. <laughs> uh, main action, I am going to try and uh, hit the Hobgoblin in front of me. That would make more, a little bit more tactical sense. Okay. Cast Mace. Uh, the Hobgoblin in front of you will indeed, but with your 16, take 8 damage. 8 bludgeoning damage. Uh, great. What else would you like to do? Uh, that will be that will be it for now. All right. In that case, we're back at the top of our order with Shoshan. 
All right. Uh, I don't have any way of getting on the other side of that door. Uh, and this guy turned on us, right? Like he did indeed. He's the one who got uh, Darmok to to get all wonky. Uh, they did stab Darmok. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And had Darmok attempt to stab you with a mace, bludgeon stabbing. Yeah. That's where I'm at. Like, listen, guy, I <laughs> yeah. was trying to be on your side. Yeah. But... Hey, but... so Sean, you know it's not personal, right? Like, hey, like I'm, I'm real sorry about that, man. No, listen, I I full full on know that uh, you wouldn't have done that had you been in the right mind. So we're gonna go ahead and cast. Uh, we're gonna upcast whole person. Sure. Uh, that get, is uh, in melee right there with the uh, them. Okay. <laughs> sure. They do also, have advantage on that wisdom save. Be aware. That's fine. And then uh, I'm gonna uh, I'm upcasting it, so I want to get this guy as well. Ah, uh, the iron uh-huh. chef. All right. Absolutely. Uh, if he has advantage on that save, I am going to uh, use my reaction for restore balance, so it's just a straight roll. Okay, Ooh. there you go. Then that <laughs> is a 15, so I think hold person will kick in for uh, them. For the Iron Shadow, let's go ahead and get that some save going. Uh, 17, which I believe meets your spell save DC. It does, but I'm going to go ahead and use uh, my last chronal shift. So that's a reroll, correct? Uh, yes. All right. Yeah. Go ahead and roll it again. That is better. Okay. Damn. <laughs> um, all right. So the Iron Shadow is not held, but the Mind Master is. Uh, and then I'm actually just going to use that as a benefit and give myself a little space. Go this way. I am still a wizard. Okay. I'm still a wizard. Not a problem. Uh, no. What would you like to do? All right. Oh, we're hurting. We're not looking good. We're singed. Our clothing is burnt, which is, like, not okay. Uh, So (laughs) Null is going to, first off as a bonus action, use another use of a spell blade as his entire body begins to be highlighted in that green terror fire. We love Uh, to see it, but actually we don't because it's very spooky. He's going to disappear and reappear right south of this hobgoblin. Uh, Using your little teleport, absolutely. Yep, fades out of existence and then goes, hi. Uh, and then he's going to... I'm going to burn one point of focus on my first attack. Okay. First star blade. Uh, oh, forgot the fell damage. Let me roll that. A 25 will hit. And then there's the fell damage. Oh, yeah, that sure. extra one. Gotta love it. For 15, absolutely. Uh, and then... Hmm, am I going to risk it? Sure, we're going to use another focus. And do another star blade on that one. That will also hit... And that, or 19 will hit against the AC of 13. Uh, 7 fell damage, 15 slashing for 22, which absolutely does indeed crush our Devastator's remaining 10 hit points. Okay, Uh, then he is going to siphon off of that second strike. I was hoping that was going to do a little bit more damage. To heal himself just a little bit. Sure. Uh, Get his 6 temporary HP from Heroism, and then he is going to reappear behind this Hobgoblin and tap him on the shoulder and tilt his head to the side, staring at him. Uh, right. And that's going to be the rest of Nuts all of Null's turn. Okay, no, That is it for you. Lives in shadow, what would you like to do? You are prone. Yes. Um, firstly, I'd like to get off the ground. Absolutely. Um, Half your movement speed. There you go. I stand, and seeing that evildoer is abounding, um, I don't like the fact that this fucking lady attacks three ti- or four times, so I'm willing correct. to go ahead and give her some justice with the form of a justice jab. Sure. Um, That will miss. A 13 will miss. Dope. Um, And so still, even though I miss, um, setting up the next attack, obviously the poison attack, or the poison damage won't go into adding towards my next attack, but then trying to do a hero's hook on her. A 24 will hit. Beautiful. All right. And with the three poison and 10 bludgeoning damage, uh, she is dead. Uh, as she manages to dodge, you come back around with your other fist and, or uh, other claw, I should say, at this point. Uh, and the other claw rakes right across the face and throat as she falls down dead. Yeah. Um, then with my last, that'd be attack or bonus action. I've begun my attack action. I'll do a regular uh, crusading cross to this guy. I'm a thirteen will miss against missing. the warlord. And then my final Baleful Strike on uh, with just basic Cat Claw. 
All right. Uh, that is a critical hit. Ooh. So a critical hit will absolutely hit. And let's see. Uh, that is the three stays static, correct? So three yeah. and then ten and a one. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, yeah. Uh, okay, so that comes out to a total of 14. All right. Anything else you'd like to do lives in shadow? Um, I, I've put all my eggs in the offense basket, so I'm, yep, yeah, that's that's my turn. Okay, uh, it is time for the Duragar, um, who are also now bottlenecked with this doorway. Uh, so, Darmok, they are going to try to, to get you. Understandable. Yep, they're going to go for one claw attack, uh, 23 to hit. Ooh, it's going to hit. All right, it's only four bludgeoning damage, luckily. Uh, but then it is also then going to try to attack you with its hammer, with a seven to hit, which I believe misses. It does miss. All right. Uh, let's see. It was standing right there. So five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Sadly, that is all of its movement, so it can't move out of the way for its fellows to then join in on you. Um, sadly, uh, but instead they will. Stop, How unfortunate! They, they will pile up in this entrance way. Uh, it is now then Nostracarm's turn, aka the Mind Master. Uh, it is going to be paralyzed for its turn, so at the end, it's going to go ahead and make its Wisdom saving throw. That is a 19, which unless somebody does something, will save. That is its turn, though, as the end. So, Leah, it is now your turn. Keep in mind, the Nostra Cairn is, or the Mind Master is no longer paralyzed, and you are in melee range. You no, know I'm aiming to end this as quickly as possible, so I'm going to spend two sorcery points again for Quicken the Spell. Okay. Fireball again down that hallway. Let's see if the minus twos can meet your down DC there. 18 yep. deck save. All right, that is a nine, a two. Oh, that one actually would have made it. Uh, 12 and a 10. Uh, the only way they can actually meet this is with a natural 20 to reduce to 18. Uh, and sadly, uh, none of them succeeded. So with a 35 damage of fire damage, we're about to have five very crispy, very dead Duragar hammers. Then, since I quick and spelled that, I will try Shocking Grasp against that guy again. This time it's a 22 to hit. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, 22 will hit, so Nostra Care can no longer take reactions with that 9 light damage. And since he can't take reactions, I will also move back. <laughs> Very tactical. We love to see it. That's it for my turn, yes. All right. It is now time for the Hobgoblins. Uh, this Iron Shadow that is down here... Um, it is going to use its Shadow Jaunt ability to place itself right up with you and Shoshan. Hey, get back here. I'm fighting you. <laughs> and then it is going to do an unarmed strike, uh, two against Shoshan and then two against Leah. First unarmed strike for Shoshan. That is a 24 to hit. Yeah, that's going to hit. All right. Give yourself seven bludgeoning damage, please. Mm -hmm. uh, you're not concentrating on anything right now, I believe, since the whole person oh. well uh, fe fell off. Uh, yep. Second one is a 13. So. Nope. That definitely will not hit. Uh, 15 or something. Or no, 23? Oh, you also have a really high one. Okay, uh, 18. Then, yeah, my shield's down. Oh, that's right. Uh, and then I think, Leah, here come two unarmed strikes for you. A 17. I believe that hits, yes. All right, that'll be six bludgeoning damage. And last but not least, another unarmed strike for t combined 20 to hit for five bludgeoning. Uh, come back to our warlord, who doesn't have, sadly, any of his martial advantage buddies within range, and can't even do its leadership effect. So what it's going to do um, is it's just going to try to start beating the crap out of everybody around them. Uh, lives in Shadow, it's going to make a longsword attack against you. That is a critical miss. Um, I'm going to take responsibility for that for totally creeping him out. Uh, you know what? Absolutely. Uh, second longsword attack is an 18 to hit, which I believe also misses you. Yep. Okay, uh, last but not least, I liked what it did earlier. Um, it could potentially down you if it gets enough, but it might not. It is going to try to shield bash you again. A 15, it is going to miss. So, with that, Darmok, what would you like to do? This guy right in front of me, I'm still pretty mad at him. Um, he was very rude, didn't even try to get to know me. Um, so now this time I will be inflicting, uh, casting and inflicting wounds upon him. Sure. Um, now that, you know, uh, lives in shadow is no longer dying on the floor. Absolutely. Go for it. And I'm uh, actually going to upcast this. Okay. Two. Go for it. A 14 is just enough to hit uh, the Mind Master. So that is going to be a go-ahead and 23 necrotic damage. Then I will... That is, uh... You know what? That'll be my turn. 
Okay, uh, that puts us back up at the top with Shosha. Yeah, this guy, I'm not stoked about him being in my face, but I don't really have in-your-face stuff. You know what? It's a classic. Let's just push him out of my face. I just wish I could get someone closer. I don't think I can, so we'll just thunderwave this guy. All right, con save. That is a 20 uh, against your DC 17 con save. These guys. These... I will attempt to silvery barbs that. That is a five. Okay. Uh, how much of a push is that? Ten. I want to push shove him right up next to this guy. Okay. Uh, five thunder damage. Okay. What else would you like to do? Uh, I kind of want to keep my position. I don't want to get too much further away from everything. So uh, I'm going to stay where I'm at. And I assume you were putting the face of the cube just in front of you so it's not to catch your hundred percent. Oh, yes. Great. Yeah. Uh, okay, no, it is your turn then. All right, I was like a little disappointed that this guy completely ignored him in favor of the Justice Cat, so... Well, gonna... if the Justice Cat had gone <laughs> down and we had been able to, you know, shave off some death saves, you would have gotten no, some attention. Like, yeah, I get that, but <laughs> you, look, you know what? You, have, you really... have to blame Lives in Shadows for having such a high AC, all right? So it we're is... going to, we're just going to like move right here and okay. just lean into him and just be like, that was a terrible. Um, right in his face, and we're gonna point blank mind blast this guy. <laughs> okay. Uh, just to like teach him a lesson, and we're gonna do it like that so we don't hit lives in shadow. I know. That's fine. I mean, that point like, for a cone, if it's five feet out, it's only five feet across, yeah. so it only affects the one square in front of you anyway. So he's just gonna blast yeah, no this worries. dude right in the face. All right, that's an intelligence save, I believe. It is indeed, which I'm hoping he is not a smarty. Uh, uh, let's see. What is your DC for it? It is 18. I'm about to mom blast it. Uh, Blasting. He got a 20. Oh, wow. Look at him. Go, buddy. I think he All saved right. on the last one, too. He is. He does have yeah, a good actually, intelligence he does saving have, throw. You yeah. know what? I was trying to meta my way out of that one. Smart boy. Uh, let's it's see the Warlord. The Warlord's not dumb. Indeed. All right. So in that case, that action is just nothing happens. Unless the wall takes psychic damage. Uh, uh, as I objects, I believe it does not. Um, I don't think so either. Uh, let's see here. What do I have a bonus action to do? My Feld is active. I don't have anything, so we're just going to stand there. And, uh, hopefully Kitty Cat's going to get up and do some massive destruction here. That's it well, they are standing at this point. They, oh, okay. They just, uh, ended up killing the Iron Shadow next to them. Uh, yeah. but speaking of Lives in Shadow, what you got for us? Oh, I forgot that I go after this. Um, hang on. I was totally planning my turn, I promise. Um, First off, uh, I'm going to go another cat claw. Uh, I'm really running out of my fancy crusading moves, so we're just going to go a cat claw this time. Uh, without the baleful strikes, I keep forgetting to unclear it, but 15 probably still misses. A 15 will definitely miss the warlord. I'll try again. Remember your focus, Bailey. Oh, focus. You, right. You probably have, like. Fuck. Your... Let's no, see, what's, has, your, what's your you proficiency have right full now? Focus, yeah. Uh, three. Three, yeah, you should have a full three points of focus, yeah. You've missed oh, a lot lately. So. Okay. Fuck, right. Okay, so then I'll take this one at advantage using oh three God, focus. I swear. No, I'm kidding. I know. I'm so, oh, I, We've I been swearing the whole time. Okay, I said it earlier. <laughs> like, if you'd like, I can go and I can bleep every time we swear out because it's way funnier. <laughs> no. Nah. Well, it'll be funnier if we bleep things that aren't swear words. Uh, go oh. ahead, Bailey. So advantage. Uh, and 18 is still a miss. Jeez. Um, attacking this guy. Then for my Thor, my third attack. Let's go <laughs> see it. We love to see it. Come on. Give us give us Come the on. Give us the shmoney. 17. Uh, uh, nope. 17 will miss. Fuck me. See, I'm um, gonna I'm gonna bleep every time we say attack. There you go. Because <laughs> it's violence. You don't want to. That, would be, that would be very funny. Uh, exactly. Do you have a, a fourth one there, Bailey? Or I do. It'll be my bonus action attack. Um, I was waffling as to whether or not I want to take the dodge action again. I won't, because that's lame. We're just going to go fucking for it. Um, well, well, well. A 24. <laughs> Look at you getting getting that damage in. Yeah. All right. There we go. Okay. They don't have any resistances, so that'll be a full 14 damage. Justice him. Justice. And this, I will use a stunning strike since oh. I finally got a hit. Using my last key. Con save, DC 20. That is a 16. They are going to be stunned. Or, yeah, it is, it is actually a stunner's that paralyzes. It's stunned. It's they stunned. are stunned. For flavor, I like to think that it because of the poisonous claws, just like in nerd, some type of venom, I'm sure. Absolutely. Yeah, no, the neurotoxin begins to affect 
Uh, their ability to send messages throughout their body. Look at you doing science. Okay, a anything else lives in shadow. That's it. That puts us down to the... Now they have their reactions back. What would be super rude to do? Um, I fucking hate this guy. <laughs> this guy, I well, swear to God. We gave him enough, such a good chance, too. He is going to try to stab you. Uh, that is an eight, which I believe is a miss against you. Um, yes, and yes. rather than use mind mastery to make you go hit your friends again, uh, because they are upsetty spaghetti, and, you know, they, they know a healer when they see one. Uh, they're going to try to stab you again. That is a nine, also a miss. Good thing you missed that crit. Oh, yes. <laughs> uh, that is going to be it for our Duragar there. Leah, it is your turn. Teleporting guy can move right up next to us, so I'm going to attempt to throw a chaos bolt at him. Well, that is Ooh. a critical hit, and because they had one hit point, they are dead. <laughs> chaos! It yeah. was very funny that you managed to get one hit point. There's been a lot of one hit points today. Yeah, like, the, the most important hit point is the last one. Yeah. That is very true. Uh, anything else, Leah? I am out of sorcery points, so I cannot quicken spell anything. So, yep, I'm just going to wait here. Right now, it is back to the hobgoblins, but the only surviving hobgoblin is currently stunned. So, Darmok, what would you like to do? Oh, my God, I really want to kill this dude so bad. <laughs> Get him, please. <laughs> See if you can. He's stunned. I'm totally going to go ham on this dude. I'm, one, I'm once again going to inflict wounds. Okay, go for it. Your 24 yes. plus 10 for a 34 <laughs> to hit will indeed deal the, let's see, 25 necrotic damage to the Mind Master that had 7 hit points left. Fuck around, dude. Yay. You're gonna fuck around. You're gonna find out. <laughs> you exclaim as you hold the, the psychic damage poison that's seeping out of your side. Oh, God, I gotta have, I have such a migraine right now. That leaves us, and Darmok, would you like to move around, do anything else? Oh, I'm gonna totally walk right in here. Oh, shit. Justice is served, almost. Oh, almost. It looks like some justice is happening in here. Show shot. what would you like to do? Uh, we're gonna find out about this justice. Uh, I actually can't make it into the room, but Not quite. But you can still see from the door. I was gonna say I don't need to. I don't need to touch someone to dole out justice. We're gonna toll the dead on him. Toll the dead. Okay, great. All right, warlord with their wisdom save. That is a fifteen uh, because they don't have any advantage for any reason. So they're gonna go ahead and take that fifteen necrotic damage uh, after rolling a fifteen against your seventeen spell save DC. A lot, of, a lot of the same numbers going around. I'd like to see it. Okay, anything else, Shashan? I'm going to use the last of my movement to duck in this corner. That's it. <laughs> very smart, very tactical. Very nice. No! All right. We're just going to go to murder at this point because this guy is, for all intents and purposes, a bitch. Uh, so let's blow our first focus on this one and make an attack as we're going to be elegant about this. Step to his side with a side swipe. I uh, forgot the fell blade because that's active. Yeah. It is also advantage since he's yeah, stunned. Yeah, you would have advantage oh, yeah. because of the stun. <laughs> wow, this is going to suck for you, bud. Now, if you'd uh, like no. to roll to see if you crit, nah, I don't, please. I don't care. That's fine. Okay, um, fair enough. On the first uh, attack. A 24 will hit, and that'll be a 19 fell damage. Or 19 damage total. If two fell, like, oh my god, I do more damage than I thought. Uh, and he's stunned, and Noel's going to realize this and just kind of cackle as he's just going to hold the blade over his head and slice down. A 29 will also hit. And let's see, that's 17 slashing. Six fell for 23. They are still alive! <laughs> no, it's just gonna laugh. It's just, it's so, like, it's pathetic, right? This guy is stunned, and he's now just bleeding everywhere as the green fire rips through him. And It's very like, rude, yes. There's, like, a little insanity leaking out right now from Only this dude. Uh, and that's where I'm gonna... I don't think anything else is alive, so we're just gonna end our turn. That is very true. There's a lot of dead, not a lot of life. Uh, lives in shadow. Uh, the creature you stunned is still stunned in front of you, because I believe it's the end of your turn, correct? Yeah. Using my last three martial artist points, I'm just going to go for all well, justice. You, I'll be perfectly honest, he has one hit point left. so <laughs> I'll make it wow. overkill, man. Just got to go, go I, all in. If any of these don't hit, we're just going for... Well, you have advantage, so... The crit will hit. <laughs> the there, there double, the but double even, critical hits. <laughs> but even even without that, a 23 will also hit yeah. against their 20 AC. So Ooh. with that, since this is our BBEG, why don't you go ahead and call your kill, Lives in Shadows. It's full six health, bedraggled kitty cat. I'm full cat lad. Just like, it's the most strict boxing punches ever. Like, 
classical pugilism and just try to like uppercut, break his ribs, bring him down to a kind of like um, kneeing his head and then throwing him to the ground, throwing up my hands and just screaming justice. <laughs> that'll be that'll be it. That'll do it. Um, all right, you are now out of combat. Ow! I'm tired, guys. <laughs> that was awfully those... dramatic. Needs a rest. Oh, hey! There's the bow. Let's go. There is the bow. Let's just uh, <laughs> grab it, and uh, we can go. There are also two spell scrolls on this table. Ooh! I was going to grab the bow. I don't trust um, spell scrolls. Now, spells. Null, what is your alignment? Chaotic neutral. Chaotic neutral. Uh, as you pick it up, you feel an overwhelming compulsion to return it to Aura. Oh, he's going to drop it. <laughs> Fair enough. I don't want to touch that thing. It's uh, I will pick it up then. Leah, you feel the same thing. Uh, currently, these spell scrolls are magically warded, so uh, they will turn into a certain spell depending on who picks it up. Oh. Don't let me touch them. I can't do magic. So, Well, if you can't do magic, they probably won't turn into anything. Leah, if uh, Leah and you and uh, Soshan, I, I mean, if you guys want to take... Uh take one. I mean, I'll I'll only take one if you don't want one. So, Sean, did you want one? <laughs> uh, No, no, no. It's it's okay. Okay, oh. I guess we'll take them then. I oh, will take sweet. one. Leah and Darmok, give me D100 rolls. Ooh, yes. Leah, you pick up a spell scroll of Shatter. Ooh. Very nice. And Darmok, uh, you pick up a spell scroll of Bane. Ooh, always fun. Always fun indeed. All right, uh, Leah, you are currently holding Aura's bow, which is giving you an overwhelming mm -hmm. compulsion. Uh, at this point, you all feel the walls of the abandoned holdfast begin to shudder and shake um, as something churns through the stone. Um, Shoshan, uh, you at this point, based on your positioning, are the only one to see this, but you see a massive uh, land shark basically charge through a hallway and then through stone on the other side, continuing on through through the stone and disappearing into the earth. At this point, uh, with the bow in your possession, you now feel the over and pretty much everybody dead except those two Duragar and Grimbelly, um, who will have now, at this point, absconded. Uh, you still feel a slight... Pull from your dodecahedron, uh, Darmok, but you don't know where. But with Aura's bow in hand, you wonder if you made the right choice with the Duragar and the Hobgoblins. Both are peoples known for their violence and tendency towards evil, but each might have had their own motivations for trying to reach Amgorak. You may never know. As you leave the dusty, now blood-soaked halls of Bandaral behind, you feel the rumblings of that large beast digging as it travels through the earth on its own mysterious course. Regardless of how you feel about the end result of your foray into the tunnels, the woods and the surrounding settlements should hopefully now be safe. At this point, normally for this session, Aura would then make a final appearance, claiming to you, adventurers, The realms are right about your skills. You have returned my mother's bow to me. I once again feel complete. I can guard this forest with a clear mind and a full heart. I have little use for gold, but I know of its value to all of you. Follow me back to our high fort, and you shall all be rewarded handsomely. Know you will always be a friend to the Wood Elves. And you wonder if this high fort is some kind of giant walking tree. But it doesn't really matter, as long as it's full of gold. And with that, we will draw our Sacred Bro Vault Retrieval Adventure quest to a conclusion. Uh, thank you all for listening today. And thank you all for playing with me. It's always a pleasure. Oh, perks we of the job, man. Thank perks you. To you. Uh, fun, man, for sure. Uh, but yes, that is all for today's session. Thank you all so much for listening. Um, and we hope to see you at Camp Dragon Online sometime soon. Say goodbye, everybody. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye everybody. everybody. Bye, nerds. Hi, everybody. This is Dungeon Master Race Frankhauser, and I want to thank you for taking the time to listen in and join us on this adventure. Here at Camp Dragon Online, we always have time for a game, thanks to the amazing tools made by Zoom and Roll20. And we want to invite you to join us. We are always welcoming new players of all skill sets and experience, even if you've never played and would like to learn. 
Our character creation sessions are currently free and include an introductory demonstration of the rules. We run a variety of campaigns and one-shots, starting everywhere from level 1 and advancing all the way to level 20. We have a wide variety of content for you to enjoy, created by our talented writing team, filled with more adventure than you thought possible. We look forward to seeing you at the table. Thank you.